Previously on McLeod's Daughters. Only 20 bucks. Take it off what Kalani owes for the fence. You're a bastard. Maybe. But I'm the bastard with the drink. When I'm finished with you, I'm gonna have a go at her right here. You came away from and her! She's gonna find out what a bad boy I really am. I can't wait! I'm trying. I really am. I know you are. You're married, Alex. I'm not asking you to have an affair, Steve. So you think having a few deep and meaningfuls is gonna make everything all right? No, but it's a start. You have no idea. <laughs> we'll get together. Beautiful. Thank you. What's going on? Who's that present for? You. Me? <gasps> I had Patrick blow it up. We all chipped in. We had to do something. You've been reading the same paper for days. <laughs> I love it! <laughs> so it looks like everything between you and Rose is back on track then? Couldn't be any better. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> up, up, up! Come on! Can I give you a hand with that? Uh, yeah, thanks. Look, I'll, um, I'll call you back. I don't suppose you could tell me where the main road is. I think I took a wrong turn somewhere. Um, yeah, sure. Um, go on about half a kilometre, chuck a left, takes you to the main road right for Gungallon. Thanks. Um, this is, this is Drover's Run, isn't it? I, I haven't seen you around here before. Uh, yeah, I've only been here for a week, um, doing work experience. Right. Uni. Cool. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, um, thanks again for the uh, directions, and it was nice meeting you. Uh, yeah, it was. I mean, <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, hey! Hey! Hey, you forgot your phone! Should have left 15 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, I heard you the first 10 times. Unbelievable. You're doing your city walk. I'm doing my I hate being late walk, actually. Come on, I've got to be at Neo's in 15 minutes. You want to tell me about this? You're a nosy little someone, so won't you? Yeah, you bet. So, it's a... I'm late. Shut the door. So, you want to... Tell me what's in the box. It's a surprise. Buckle up. OK, see ya. Oh, well, look, guys, I could have done that. Oh, no, it's fine. You're running late. Go, go. All right, well, listen, um, enjoy the muster. Except for Kalani coming too. Kalani? Riley. Oh, it was just for a day. It'll be over before you know it. <sighs> a ring? What else is in a ring box? And Patrick said that Dave said it was a surprise. Well, you know Dave. He asks every girl to marry him eventually. He never asked me. Or you, you know, I'm just saying it could be a, a friendship ring. Do you reckon Regan knows? Do you reckon I know what? What's going on? Nothing. Well... <coughs> Guys. Tell him. Come on. Um... Patrick thinks... Dave's gonna propose. What? He has a ring and everything. Well, hang on, did Dave actually say that he was gonna... Well, no, but come on, it is Dave. 
So? Well, you know, you guys together for months. I'm surprised it's taken this long. Hang on. Davey's not gonna ask me to marry him. He doesn't want that. I don't want that. Patrick's pulling your leg. Moving a few sheep, no big deal. Oh, good, I've got to take the Jenny in for repair and I've also got to drop those costumes back at Town Hall. You can come with me. Well, what about the muster? Kate said I might be able to go and I haven't been on anything as big as that yet. Ah, uh, sorry, Rose, the girls have got that covered. But think of it this way, you get to spend more time with me. I'm here to work, not run around with costumes. OK, troughs are all yours. <laughs> Hello? Hi. So I guess I was right, huh? What do you mean? The cute girl did find my phone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait up! I'm coming with you. Oh, I reckon the troughs can wait then. Something like that. You're sweet, thank you. And don't make any plans for this Friday night, will you? Just a table at the edge point. Flash? What have I done to deserve all this? Nothing. Are you sure about that? No special occasion? Something I've forgotten? Can't a bloke do something for his wife just because he wants to? Well, yeah, of course. Just unusual. That's Don't all. make a huge deal about it. Alex, what is going on? Nothing. There is nothing going on, okay? Well, what? why are you being so defensive? I'm not. I try to do something nice and end up the bad guy. Let's just forget it. Afternoon, ladies. Morning. Can't be. I've been here for hours. Oh, bullcrap. You never stop, do you? I haven't even begun. <laughs> Good day. We weren't expecting you. Change your plans and come with you. Thank God, another bloke. Thought I was going to have to do all the work myself. Keep that up and you will be. Come on. Let's get on with it. Let's get moving. We paid. Sandra's showing you how to raise cattle. Shame. Yeah, boo bloody who. Sorry, mate. She's right. Hop, hop, hop. Come on, wakey, wakey. Hurry it up. Oh, your horses, you took so long getting them through the gate, I fell asleep. <laughs> Anytime you think you can do better, by all means. You mean like right now? Just leave it to the experts. What is that supposed to mean? <sighs> Bloody show off. Thinks he's pretty cool? Mm, an expert, even. I think he needs to be taken down a peg or three. OK, you sure you don't want a hand? No, no sweat. I'll drop them off while you do what you have to do. Thank you, Rose. It's a great help. Uh, I'll meet you back here. OK. <laughs> Beware the helpful teenager. In my experience, a teenage girl only volunteers for something when she wants something in return. What do you mean? Oh, you know, like uh, money or clothes or money for clothes. I didn't know you were so cynical. I'm a mum. Comes with a job. 